this is a test run of the El Gato recording software, and I'm obviously screwing around in Monster Hunter U. Well, 3 U. Um, and I'm noticing that there is some definite degradation in the image quality that I'm seeing on my monitor. Do some looking in to find out if the El Gato deliberately downscales stuff and then rescales it up, or what, but this is definitely different looking. I just started this game, like, last week. No, Monday I started playing, actually. And the uh, game is kind of... Like, I don't even know what, man. Uh, I have it on both my Game Boy and my... Or we, or whatever the fuck they're called. Just let us sort my items. I have too much shit in my bags. Um. So I don't really know how I feel about the game. Yeah, I mean, I think I put in like eight hours, and I barely hit level two. And there is like a ton of stuff that I just do not get, and I don't believe it's my fault. There is an enormous tendence, tendency in uh, Japanese games, I've noticed, to not explain a single fucking thing. And you just have to figure things out organically and such. Dark Souls is an incredible example of that exact philosophy, where you are essentially left to the tender administrations of the game. Skin that dude back there. Triggers speed up. Now, one thing that is an issue with recording Wii games is going to be the capture of the device because you you can't capture it, and I don't know if it's if there's really a good workaround other than just setting up a separate video camera and somehow affixing it to the controller so that you can see what's on the menu. I wonder if there's actually a way to get... The HUD is displayed, and on. This is probably a setting that I need to set up. Oh, here we go, weak game. No, that's not it. That puts the display on my handheld. It doesn't seem to change anything up on the main. <laughs> Though. Um, it, it would make playing the game super awkward because, yeah, you can't see anything anymore. So streaming Wii games, rather streaming Wii U games that use the gamepad for anything at all, that's going to be a challenge. Does it tell me where the hell to go for these things? Kelby. I don't even know what the fuck a Kelby is. 
there are little booklets you can buy. And this is like a horrible thing. Like, I don't even know why people do this. It's stunned, and then you just break off one of its horns. What what kind of monster are we? And as you can see, I so don't know the combos yet. I'm sure that there are people that have been playing this for a super freaking long time, and they can, like, pull off all this kind of stuff, and they already have a good intuitive knowledge of where everything is and where everything goes. I am not one of those people. I'm not sure that I ever will be. I don't know how much I do or or, or don't like this game. why I use the hunting horn is because it's an absurd weapon. I tried the bow and the bow <laughs> took me the longest freaking time to figure out how to actually use. And I don't know if that's just because I'm stupid or because I didn't bother to read the manual. Well, I didn't bother to read the manual because once I read the instructions and it became a lot more obvious and I could actually do stuff. But perhaps I'm just far more used to the whole first, you know, like half hour of a game, the, the tutorial for it. And this game doesn't really have much in the way of a tutorial. So this has been Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Monster Hunter 4 is already out in Japan and hopefully will be coming stateside. I don't think that anyone knows yet if there's going to be a Wii U version. And if there isn't, that will make me kind of sad. Because playing on the console is a far, far better experience than playing on the 3DS. You, because, you know, I have big hands, I guess. And even though I have a 3DS XL, the... You know, holding it just doesn't feel comfortable, and it's doing anything underwater in that game, or in this game rather, is a nightmare. And Hi. quest. See, like these little tutorial bits, and hopefully the text will show up. The color of the quest ticket that pops up over your head, like they don't tell you that anywhere until some random thing. And, you know, we get so ingrained that RPGs just have, like, random bullshit text, like, so much of the time that we scroll through it. You have to read every single one of these. And if you, if you forget or you don't pay attention to it, then, well, then you're kind of screwed because you're never going to find that info again until you might perhaps randomly find it later. So one thing that is kind of sad is from where I live, uh, and with as quote-unquote old as the game is, I have two street pass tags in a week, which is like nothing. Uh, Bravely Default, which has been out for at least a month, I believe, and I have my village has like well over a hundred people. I haven't actually gotten very far in it, but
kind of set off a lot of things and they cascaded and you know I have my depression that medication only does so much for but that I seem to be doing better and also I got invited to join a couple of YouTube networks sadly only on affiliate status not as managed because managed to be really nice because then they really would handle all the lawyer stuff or content ID claims but um, they did say they were going to help out with what content ID claims I do get coming up and hopefully I won't have to deal with as much of that crap anymore. Anyway, um, Dead Space 1 just got given away for free by Origin, so I might be playing some of that. I have a friend who's starting to go through Dead Space 3 uh, again, and so I might be doing co-op videos with that. Also, I started playing Diablo 3 again since Reaper Souls came out. That finally became fun again. Um, I kind of quit WoW, and so there's not going to be any of that anymore. Not even the, the small silly videos that I had been planning on doing and then just never uploaded. But uh, thank you for watching, and I hope that you will continue to do so in the future.